You can either mow the grass or you can plant grass that doesn't need mowing at all. Great segue. As KCI 9 News anchor Sean Quayer shows us, this week's In the Garden is all about tall grasses. Grass, it's not just for the lawn and for walking on, grass is for decorating. Here's Caleb Johnson with Johnson Brothers Garden Market. You have two of your favorite grasses here today. Yeah, I do. I've got the maiden grass, which are these two and this one, and then also Carl Forrester, which are two of my favorite types of grasses. Exactly. What makes these so special? Well, one is they're really easy to grow and they don't really have any pests or disease and the deer don't like them either. Wow, and I like the tops too. Yeah. They have like feathers. Yeah, they. Uh, this one hasn't done it yet, but both send out their little flower plumes, uh, which start out kind of bright and then fade uh, to a nice tan look for the fall. So very decorative, very ornamental as well. And in terms of maintenance, you don't really have to do a lot to them. Um, every year in the late fall, like November, mm -hmm. once the grass has kind of faded and it's time, you can cut them back down to the base mm -hmm. and they'll come back the next year. You can also, um, in the early spring um, or the fall, you can too, you can dig them up and actually divide them and create new little grasses in your yard. Which is great because you get a free plant. You get free plants out of all these just by, by dividing them. Not that I'm trying to take you out of business or anything, but, and another benefit if you ask me, you don't have to mow them. Exactly. It's an easy care grass. Two great grasses for you.